welcome back to Is It Me? I'm your host, Michelle Forrester, for another banging episode. Our last episode with our recurring guest, Michael Alexander. You sound exhausted. I am. I'm pretty tired. Um, I'm having a thrill. It's almost as if we recorded all of these in one day. Yeah. Um, Can we publish them in a chronological order to not confuse the listeners? Sure. Is that a note that you're giving me on yes. my on my on the, the first four? four? Yeah. Thanks so much. Um, today's okay. guest, very excited to have this guest. She was our very first fan ever, <laughs> ever, and she's here on the podcast, Full Circle. Give it up for Lauren Clark. Hello. Thanks for having Hi. me. She was like, I, I need to get on the podcast. I, I want to do Human Raccoons. I'm like, well, Michelle left we this canceled. country. Yeah. We canceled the, uh, the podcast. I've just been waiting for like a reboot. Yeah. and Because so you know what she does? She falls asleep to them at work. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> on my listens or listens, baby. Yeah. Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> I'll take it. Sleep. I'll take it. Do you, um, how did you discover Human Raccoons? So for the listeners, you Human Raccoons was a podcast that me and Mike did two years ago. Um, some of those episodes are still out. Sometimes I, I think, think all we of them should are maybe go delete out. them. I go back and listen oh, when I want to sleep. <laughs> when you want to sleep. <laughs> I mean, at least someone's listening because <laughs> I'm certainly not re-listening. Um, how did you start listening? Because so, you were like our very first like real f- man. I'm honored listener. So the, it was like during COVID that you yeah. guys came out with this, and I'm a nurse, so I was working crazy times. But I just remember you posting on Instagram, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool. Let me give it a shot." And I'd listen on my breaks at work, and I was like, "Oh, they're kind of funny, you know." Like I appreciated Mike's dark humor. Keyword kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got better. They yeah, got they better. Yeah, they certainly got better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Season one. But Terrible. Uh, yeah, I was your, I guess, your first fan. I didn't realize. Yeah, and you, like, are always the first person to listen even to these episodes. Like, you always Can like, you see? Yeah, I mean, well, no. I okay. Don't, no, and I, I also like, don't look. I actually <laughs> don't look at any kinds of stats in general for anything that I do. It really freaks me out. But, um, no, but you DM me and you let me yeah, know. So, true. give me feedback. You also so. consume, like, you, you, like, go on people's Instagram and then, like, you I click have, the link in there, but like you really consume. Yeah, dude, content. you're gonna link something on your story. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> yeah, like, what's this about? Really That's do- cool. You could be like an auditor. <laughs> I'm just a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, so? Do you do this with like everybody, or or was it just something about Me? Mike and I? No, I'm oh. asking Lauren, but looking oh, well, at you. No one I'm else do- I know is putting out podcasts. Oh really? Oh, no. I feel like everyone and their uncle has a podcast. No, not anyone I know like personally. So I was okay. like, oh, this is cool. And yeah. I know you were like starting your comedy stuff. So I was like, yeah. let's support, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Oh my God. You know what I was thinking about the other day? How, I think we talked about it on the podcast, or one of the podcasts, I forget with who, but do you remember the very first giggle dump that we did and how we invited every single person that we knew? I listened to that episode with Josh, yeah, and how yeah. everyone was... Okay, that was with Raji, right? Yeah, I think, and, uh, then, and then Josh said how bad we were, and I'm yeah. like, I didn't think we were that bad. Right? But it was bad, apparently. But it wasn't... Yeah, I don't I know. Thought I thought it was we great. Were, yeah, I thought we were... Quite I mean, good. I think I was there. You know what's funny what is that first? we did that episode, and then, like, two weeks later, one of my very best friends, Johnny was talking to me and he was like you know I was with some people and we were like reminiscing on giggle dump and how like fucking sick it was when we were at like cozy and mostly they were excited about how wasted they got um (laughs) yeah and somebody people were yeah freaking out in those bathrooms but um yeah there was like a lot of drugs being consumed yeah people like like bathrooms drugs they spilled I don't think anyone ever hooked up but because you would have been right on it Technically, in the perimeter of your apartment. Oh yeah, I told I told on a previous episode how I had to scare off people from our enclave. You know, like oh yes, let me get your perspective. Oh yeah, I, for, in the I, ba- in the back. I always forget that I, for some reason, always forget that you live there too. <laughs> like the other day, I was like, "Are you New sleeping?" At, yeah. I was like, "Are you sleeping at Lawrence?" He was like, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "Lauren doesn't have a place anymore." I was like, "Oh yeah, it's true. You moved in together. I forgot." But like, so when are you around when he goes and like does? Like well, she wasn't people? yesterday, but tell tell them the. When, the when, first time yeah, it happened? Fir- yeah. Because it happened twice in one month. That's insane. I guess yeah, it because was just it last yesterday, night. Yeah. yeah. Well, the first time I was home, we were just hanging out, and he gets a text from his neighbor, who's also a grown man, and is like... But like, describe him more. Uh, he's like a dorky Jew. <laughs> <laughs> A door, a he's dorky. a dorky Jew, yeah. Oh, dorky. <laughs> yeah, my people. I was like, I just want to hear here and run it back <laughs> no. in. Okay, he's okay. very sweet, but I don't know him more than that. Anyway, so he texts Mike. He's like, hey, are we having any work done? It's like Saturday night at 7 p.m. He's like, no. He's like, oh, well, there's somebody like basically the back door to the alley. There's like a little nook. It's covered. Mm-hmm. So I guess it's a perfect spot. No wind to like smoke your crack or whatever. And so Mike goes down 
he just leaves the house, and me and Albert are inside, like, okay, maybe this is the last Albert time. Albert is I'll, our dog. I'll ever see him. Yeah. <laughs> and he went down and took care of it. What you? I wasn't there. Took yeah, care uh, of it. Yeah, I just <laughs> like told him to, to. No, I just told him to kindly leave, and then they left. No, he. What did but you say it in French? Were they speaking French or English? No, they were speaking French, which kind of made me uncomfortable because I'm not very tough in French. Yeah, but remember <laughs> he said something like, oh, like, what if I was fucking my wife back here? Would you also tell me to leave? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're in my house. <laughs> like, I don't want you having so sex weird. with your wife in my house. Was Please it the leave. same guy? Do you remember? No, it was oh. different. But I'm confused. This is not the fellatio. It was not. They, they were like doing some weird sex drug act when I saw them. Oh, it was it was combo. It was a combo. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was a One guy was standing crack over crack the combo. other guy and they were, yeah, it was very odd. Okay. 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 And then I, when I asked what they were doing, they're like, we're just hanging out. And I'm like, it looks like you're hanging out for sure. I didn't see genitals, so. And what yeah. happened last night? Uh, there were people smoking oh. and, and I had to be like, hey, do you guys, I, I was such a pussy. <laughs> I was like, oh, do you guys mind to do that somewhere else? And they're like, I don't want to make the impression, and I had to ask them a couple of times. Oh yeah, because I don't think they spoke English or French. Interesting. Anyway, okay. So that's anyway. the scary area we live. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like the new neighborhood? Oh, it's great. It's not that different from like not far from where I was before. No, it's not. But there are more. Oh yeah. Like yeah. Scary people experiencing acts. homelessness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't know. I haven't had any. There's like what? a lot of like hooting and hollering though. Like. I'll, like in the middle of the night? No, in the middle of the day. Like I'll walk the dog and, <laughs> and I'll she get, gets uh, what's it called? Cat called. Yeah. You get cat called. Yeah, by like oh, that's old, old men school. on little scooters, and it's like, okay, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Getting cat called by a guy on a scooter is kind of a flex. <laughs> oh, I'm flattered. And Mike's like, where what direction Dude, I did get they go? So upset. He thinks I, he's gonna find them. Like, leave it. Oh, well, no, I'm not gonna find them, but because I'm like at the office when she tells me these things, but it I like makes to get me him so fired mad. up. Like, leave your desk. You're like, I gotta go. Um, no, but what makes you mad about it? That well, someone's like, making her feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay. You're an ally. Yeah. I would do that if Ooh, somebody I know, like, around me did. Like, if that happened to my mom, I'd be like, let's go. What if it you. happened to me? <laughs> I mean, the same. Like, you would get mad? Of course. Like, it's like a shitty position to, because they wouldn't do that to me. You know, they're, they're only doing it because it's like. Because it's a woman yeah. and they want to make them feel unsafe and scared. Yeah. I think they're just. Oh, there's the guys at the barber shop too. When I come get you at the metro, sometimes I like walk the dog. They're like, "Oh, like let me see the dog." To, like these like big men, and then I'm like, Leave it at that. and then Albert's like uh, <laughs> kind of scared. The dog's kind of scared. And I'm like, okay. And then the guy's like, uh, I said, "Oh, sometimes he's scared." And then he's like, "Mommy's not scared, literally." Yeah, yeah. He called you mommy. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> also, I thought you were building a big tough dog. No, no, <laughs> no. She's a little scaredy cat. Yeah, our dog is. But I promise myself, we're not going to talk about the dog the whole time. We can talk about was the that, dog. No, 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 He's no. a cutie. No, no, no. I was that a thing? Yeah, I didn't know this. No, I told myself this as I was okay. getting ready. I was like, I'm gonna talk about the dog too. Did much. you have like a chat in front of the mirror? Like <laughs> yeah. today you're gonna <laughs> I told him, get out of my head. <laughs> no, it was nice. I get fired up sometimes. Yeah, sometimes the neighborhoods, you know. You get fired up over all those kinds of things. What else do I get fired up about? Like if you you always say like, oh, some guy was like rude to my mom. And then he's like, this and this and this is how I'd like kill him. Like literally. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He does, do he does have the dead fantasies. Yeah. 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 The fantasies and are then a lot. I like fire him up. I'm like, what if this guy that walked by me just like stole my purse? Like, what would you do? He's like, oh. <laughs> Dude, she likes egging me on. Yeah. Oh my God. You enable it. She like, you like she create like, the situation. Oh, he's talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. She's no res I get no respect around She's here. She's like waiting. She's like, I'm waiting for you to kick this guy's ass. Yeah. He's like, look, he's walking away with my purse. Like, oh, tax like write off. She like gives him her purse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some weird. one of the professional athletes that trains in our basement. <laughs> Has it ever happened that like it's happened when you're together? Because like I imagine you guys take walks together, walk the no, dog that's together. No, that's the thing. That's his whole point. Is like that wouldn't happen if I were here. It's only happening to you because you're alone and vulnerable. You know, right? And that's right. like. And what are you wearing? <laughs> Normal no. clothes, none of your business. Um, it's like this like injustice thing he yeah, has. I'm a real ally. I'm telling you, dude. I know. Yeah. Some. You guys you're an ally like to some, not to all. No. Earlier, Miriam was like, yeah, this, like, frumpy girl that was a two was way too confident. I was like, <laughs> she needs to meet Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, that's, like, something that would come out of your mouth. No, come on now. Yeah. I've been saying so many nice things on this 
the last four episodes. You have been saying some nice things. Yeah, a lot of nice things, actually. I said no mean thing. I said I... Yeah, because I told you at the beginning of the podcast that we will not be able to scrub it out. Yeah, ben, I was wondering like how much editing is Michelle gonna have to do after. I this? don't have to edit anything, oh, so nice. that's why I get to come in and tell him like, by the way, my editor not gonna edit anything out. So if you wanna, so and be careful. you wanna say you some, wanna keep your job, you wanna say some yeah. crazy <laughs> shit. We had a mask. What we were doing the the first episode was anytime Mike said something borderline, me and Ben made him wear the mask. Oh God! And it didn't. It, the Grinch it, mask. And uh, oh. we can bring it back. <laughs> and uh, Ben was like, "Man, I was really expecting Mike." to be like a lot crazier and say a lot of crazier things i'm like oh daddy's got to pay for a mortgage <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> like yeah. it really changes it man when you've got uh, <laughs> fiscal responsibility <laughs> oh my God. so yeah. no now i'm a, a lame square can we vote in pierre polyvie <laughs> <laughs> vote in who i'm know. really not privy to like quebec politics anymore it's kind of a nice uh, it's a nice little perk of living mm-hmm. in ontario yeah, your but politics also, don't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't. And what I also don't that? know anything about Ontario. I don't know. What are you guys doing? Like, what are you, what are you doing? Do you want to tell them the story of how we met? We can tell you the Hard story pivot, but yeah. I was just thinking about that. Why? How Mike deceived me. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, you had a role in that. It was your account. Oh, no. I had a role in it. No, it was the Human Raccoons account. It was, yeah. it was our joint she account. She had no role in that. Yeah. No, no role. But, so but yeah, tell the no, story. No, it was, it was in your apartment on your washer slash dryer slash kitchen counter. What? That makes it sound yeah, what the really hell? weird. Well, we were at your house when she posted the rollerblade video. Yeah, we were uh, at your house when we were posting at, the, at my house, and you saw the rollerblading video. Go. And then yeah, you slid so in to her human DMs raccoons. from the Human Raccoons account. Exactly. Yeah. They had so what own. was the DM that you received from so the Human Raccoons? I had not been on Instagram in a long time. I was in my heartbreak era. I was taking yes. up different hobbies. Roller skating being one of them in Roller, my yeah, dad's I warehouse, like desperate times, okay? And those uh, videos were cute. It was fun. And yeah. I haven't done it since that day. <laughs> I think that you're was like, the last time you're you did like, it. You're like, they got me what I needed. Yeah. Yeah. So, a dog. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Literally. I mean, for the dog. That's it. But, uh, yeah, I had. So, you get this DM. Yes, I got a DM. I had posted for the first time in like three months. I was like, oh, I want to show my new skill to everybody. I'm back, baby, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I get this DM from Human Raccoons. Obviously, I think it's Michelle, because Mike, I don't know Mike. I just know him from the podcast, Yeah, she, she just knew him as my problematic friend. Yeah, so the message was like, oh, I uh, missed you at the show last night. You must have had a show the night before. Yeah, yeah, we had a giggle down. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, couldn't go, was working, whatever. Still thinking I'm talking yeah, to you. Yeah, still thinking it's so me. So we went back and forth a bit. And then I think I went out that night. I was at uh, a bar in St. Henry with uh, my brother and my best friend. And I get, I think I posted a story, whatever, and I get another message thinking it's Michelle saying like, oh, you're at Loic. Can I say names? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. was this okay? Oh, you're you at Loic. You can drop as many names like, as you want. Just locations. Okay. It's fine. We had an episode where um, a comedian was literally calling out waitresses that he was oh, trying, <laughs> trying to pay to strip. I think we're fine on, on names. Oh, that's awesome. Um <laughs> Continue. So yeah, and so then Loic, yeah. Loic, and yeah. then Michelle, who I thought was Michelle, was like, "Oh, I might swing by," and Keep I'm a, like, pause. All right. This is like the most. <laughs> this must have been from your perspective the most eager, <laughs> eager, well, so that's eager the thing. like DM that she's ever gotten from you. Suddenly, I'm like, "What's going on? You're going to Loic? Like, cool? Yeah. Like, what's going on? And like, not first, that I wouldn't have done that, but like that must have been but really interesting thing. on your end. Like first thought, I was like, "Oh, you know, Michelle and I like." Yeah, sure, we've reconnected recently, but, like, she's down to hang. Like, okay. <laughs> she's so cute. Like, why not? So then, uh, like, if time goes by, I get another message, like, waiting in line. I'm like, okay, Michelle, <laughs> see you when you get in, you know? And then I'm sitting with my friends. Oh, my God, I'm, like, friends, and so dead that you thought, you thought the whole time I'm, like, waiting time. in line, I'm eager. Yeah. I'm like, she's like, is Michelle trying to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> So, but uh, yeah, and then this guy comes around for the drink, and like I obviously I recognized him because I've been to a few shows, and I'm like, oh, and she's like, he's my. too short to even be. In here. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh no, no, but I was just like, oh, okay, like surprise. But anyway, he he was very on that night. Yeah, he doesn't make a great first impression. Um, no, I mean, I made a, I made too good of a first impression. What do you mean? You think? <laughs> <laughs> He was like on, like he was like he was like, like fired up. So he had just done a show, I think, and he yeah, just I did a show. Apparently, in, did well. Yeah, oh, I did he had a, show a French in, show. No, 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 in, no. In, in the East End. Oh, East in the East like, End. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What was that and guy's name? He's not around anymore, that comic who puts those shows together. I, I don't even remember. I just remember that, like, yeah. when I, it, had I not gone out, I would have been watching um, Hurt Locker on my mattress on my on floor, floor because my apartment was being renovated. Sorry. Right, your apartment. Right, 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 right. This was your your this, flood, flood era. Yeah, this was my flood yeah. era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So he had just come off from, and I remember you called me on the way to Loic. You called me and you're like, I just killed. Yeah, it was awesome. He was fired up. Yeah. yeah. So he came. He showed anyway, up. yeah, he showed up. He sat down. He thought we were an audience. He was like going hard with the jokes and and killing. I was crushing. Mind you, it was. Were you crushing? Because who? It was your brother. My brother and two of my good friends. Like it was Chelsea. Yeah. So she like ha she was like, oh, he's funny, whatever. And Ryan was like, you know, like being the yeah. protective brother, which he's not usually, but. Anyway, yeah, like something about you was intriguing, but I was like, Jesus Lord, like you could stop practicing your material anytime. I was doing no material. At I was just like point, organically it, like, hilarious. With the group, at any point, did it like occur to you guys to be like, do we need to ditch this guy? Or like, you guys were like in it. Like, I, I, I think was you guys okay are friendly. With him around. Yeah, I think Ryan, my brother, was ready to ditch you. What's fair? Yeah. He, hate still applies today. No. <laughs> <laughs> and like her brother works near me, like our office, and I'm like, hey, like we should like get lunch, and he's like, ah, no. I'm like, oh. <laughs> he said no. He's like, don't tell Mike where I work. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks my heart. No, but uh, I also thought you were still like with your ex at that point, so I was just like, oh, it's chill. He's harmless. Yeah, like he yeah, wants he's a great be, guy. He's he wants just... to be friends, you know? Like, I'm down to make friends. Like, I'm getting myself yeah, out yeah, there, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like in your uh, trying new things there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we left Loic and went to another bar. And then he offered to buy me a drink. And I was like, immediately, like, you know, like, what? And then I was in my I Hate Men era. So I was like, you sleazy little fuck. I'm like, don't you have a girlfriend? And he's like, no, actually. And I was like, oh, like, that's what this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it clicked. Yeah. But yeah, I was like unsure. Mm. I was kind of excited. I was like, oh, you know, someone's interested in me. Yeah, you but, like the attention. Uh, yeah, but then I was also like, who is this guy? And then we parted ways and he goes, so uh, you, what did you say? You're like, you want to take my number? I was like, what? Yeah, I didn't want to impose. Dude, I'm a consent oh, king. That... I was like, hey, like, was take like... my number. And she's like, no, ask me for my number. And yeah, be like a, me a gentleman, slur. you know? I didn't call you. <laughs> Wait, what did you call? Wait, what did she you She said, and then she called me a slur. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, anyway. No, she and was drunk, so she was slow. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> anyway, so I gave him my number, and then he started texting me nonstop. A lot, right? Me. Yeah, yeah, a lot. I was still doing my bits <laughs> <laughs> over text. But he uh, was fine. He was patient. And then I asked her out, and then she said no to kissing me for five dates in a row. Yeah, that's a fucking a flex, yeah. girl. It, that's well, how you do it. You made it so awkward. He At the end, we'd have a nice date. At the end of the day, he'd be like, so, uh... Yeah, that's his mm -hmm. move. He'd go, it so, uh, move. we should kiss. And then I, like, it would make me nervous. So I'd be like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're being put on the spot. Well, that's the thing. Like, you're like, just what? do it. That's a sales anything, tactic. <laughs> yeah, it is a sales tactic a little bit. <laughs> and it wasn't even asking. It was like proposing the idea, like, we should kiss? Yeah, like, we should. And she's like, no, I'm like, okay. Let's start a business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Matt, what do you weird. think of that? You're laughing yeah. over there. It's funny, but I did a similar move. Oh, yeah? Respect. With your girlfriend? Well, with, yeah, with just my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> only, <laughs> only ever. No, but I would always just kiss on the cheek and make the girl kiss me on the lips. Oh. How, that, do you, how do you do that? Do you, like, well, because you're in the vicinity, kiss her on the cheek and I guess. Go. Well, like, if you're watching a movie or something, you just Like, roll. pull out slowly. You're, like, trying to get... Yeah, well, watching a movie is very easy, too. Never fit. But, like, I, like I don't... This is boring. Let's make I've it. never known how to just kiss a girl on the lips. That I've Me neither. That's why I was like, I don't hey, we should do that. I don't know how to do that either. Like, <laughs> I don't know how men do it either. I think it's really hard to kiss a girl. Yeah, scary. it's hard scary. being a man. It is yeah. scary. It's so hard being a man. <laughs> yeah. Like, terrible. It's really bad. Anyway, and then... You mean... But he was so... You were really nice. You were like, okay, like. It's fine, you know, no pressure. And I think yeah. that's what made me like him. And then the last like, time I brought home, a dog. He, like, screams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, even when you brought the dog, I didn't kiss you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, I'll kiss the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for sure you kissed Albert before you kissed Mike. Probably. No, she was scared of Albert. A little bit. Yeah, she didn't like dogs up until she met my dog. Really? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't like an animal person, yeah. Oh, my and God. And now I love him so much, I feel like I birthed him myself. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God, that's so sweet. Yeah. That. I relate to that so much. I think people have always told me my whole life that I'm not an animal person or like I've identified with that because I was allergic to uh, mm. dogs and cats. 
And so like all my friends growing up would make me feel like literally a piece of shit like human. Like a monster. Like a monster. Yeah. Like you don't like animals. And yeah, I was well, like. They make me feel bad. <laughs> of course I yeah. don't. Yeah. Well, that's what I was like. Like I don't like. And then now I am so obsessed with dogs also. Yeah. Like I'm. S- I Especially lived, I lived you, with like, a puppy. you trust one, you know, and you like learn to love that one in particular. And you also just like, I think it makes you just a better person to be around animals. Like I think one of like the tell, tell signs of like, a, I don't know, like for me, an empathetic person is someone who has like an animal and like treats that animal well. well. Hitler had a dog. <laughs> Did he? Yeah, he loved it. He had a dog? Yeah. Oh, so that theory is up. Tell the me window. more about your dog. No, like dogs anymore. Yeah, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Yes, I breed. Doberman. German Shepherd. No, <laughs> he didn't. Yeah. He had a German Shepherd. Yeah. You know who else yeah. has a German Shepherd? Well, that's not what he was shepherding. So no. Good who point. else had a German Shepherd? Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Shepherd. Yeah, and he kicks his dog. He kicks it. Yeah. Okay, so last night we were at a party. Okay. I won't say what party. Okay. There was a puppy. Okay. Wasn't there all? Isn't there always a puppy at that show? Well, there's a dog. Okay, there's and like it's, a. And the dog is an amazing dog. Yeah, that dog's incredible. Yeah, there was a puppy. There was okay. Cute fucking puppy. What like, breed? I think. What race? Mix. Okay. So I think. Um, Biracial. <laughs> the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Mixed. It doesn't matter. No, the, no. I just had a brain fart. Mixed, like a like. I think. What was Brianna's old dog? My I don't friend know. Brianna. No, you know. Cookie? Cookie, yeah. I don't know. Look like a oh, German yeah. Shepherd and German Shepherd mixed maybe, with like yeah. something. Anyway, just the cutest effing freaking dog. Such a cute puppy. Chained to like a day, apparently like a day in. Just like chained to like a chair. With like a, at the party. With a, like a million people around too. This yeah, and there was like, there was like one guy who was like really, I, I think it was fine. I think it was just like, the moment that we walked into it, like the moment that I walked into seeing the dog chained to a chair, I think it was like a brief, it had been like two minutes since the owner okay. had maybe yeah, yeah. like put him there, maybe because he was like Wait, going to the bathroom. Did he stay chained all night? No. Okay. Because someone came and like some, this guy was like sat with him and was like, I, this is like not okay. Like you can't like, right. basically they were like, you can't leave it like a puppy, like right. at a party. Yeah. Like you have to like go home. And like, so they told the owners like, you guys should go home. Like you shouldn't be here right. with the puppy but this guy the way he was like so empathetic with this dog it was that just like ch- earlier changed to the no no no, it, oh, was, no t- it was like a party goer that was like oh. this isn't okay like i have right. to sit here and stay right. with this dog like this isn't okay right. he was just like advocating for this puppy right. and was he cute no <laughs> oh, shit. he was okay he just wasn't my type <laughs> okay you know respectful yeah <laughs> respectful like, like, he was just like kind. he was just like a really good like, guy hobbies, you know so it's employed yeah like. no he but he i mean he wasn't he was he just wasn't my type but he was a good looking guy but he was just like the way that he was so like advocating for this puppy so much i was like thinking yeah, of you actually start i was thinking of you because I, I was thinking that you inches. might you if you were there you would have maybe done the same oh because you're like big on dog like, advocate you're a big dog maybe advocate. or i would have just do you think you could be a dog lawyer I could see that for you. Hey, we're running sh- low on ideas of things to talk about. Like, hey, if dogs could fly, do you think pork would taste different? Like, what the fuck are we doing here? I feel like, oh my god! Do you I feel like you could be a dog lawyer. I feel like why? Why no, is that a bad I, idea? No, be, yeah, you not, need to lean into ideas. The, no, a podcast is about leaning. A dog, in. a dog lawyer, like uh, your honor, fucking Fido eight. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just think a cartoon of you being a dog lawyer would okay, be very okay. funny. Okay, what if they're like, what if I'm like a prosecutor? What if I'm like trying to get a dog to go to the pound? <laughs> no, what? you would never. You'd, yeah, the dog. There was a dog that bit his. Mom. Yeah, a dog bit my mom, and I wanted. A few weeks I ago. wanted to. It, it was near a, a park, and I wanted to. It was at Centennial Park. Well, hey, you know, it's her fault. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I. I don't get it. Centennial Park is like a shitty park. <laughs> like it's a what? beautiful. What are you talking about? No wait. It, <laughs> it's not a beautiful park. Centen- it's, it's literally it's a huge forest. It's with literally, the lake. it's literally encapsulated by a fence. Yeah, it's a park in the middle of this harbor. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. We don't need to get into the. Okay, but why, wait, wait. Why did your <laughs> Why well, did your mom get bit by a dog? Well, she well unprovoked. Hey, uh, yeah, they were like. Oh, it was just an off-leash dog. No, it was. They were just like walking and 
some dog like freaked out at my parents' dog, which was like a bit further up, and then just reacted and instead of biting my dog, my parents' dog bit her. You know what that dog might need? A good ass. A good lawyer. Thing. A lawyer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dog lawyer. No. And then the owners of that dog were very not nice and like apathetic to the fact that their dog just bit my mom. And that also made me very, very mad. It ruined my day. Yeah, anyone fucking with your mom seems to or be. Or dad. I mean, if, it, if they bit my dad. Be a real I would, trigger. Well, or, or my, if they bit my dad, I would equally be upset. <laughs> it's not like a gender thing. It's like, uh, fucking, why is your dog biting people? Yeah. And then my mom's like, oh, I don't want to call the cop. Fuck, I had to strong arm her into opening a. A police report? Or a, a report. Yeah, she didn't even call the police. She called public security. You know who she could have called? A dog. <laughs> <laughs> Patrol the parks, Mike. Uh, no, uh, what's it called? This is good stuff. Good content. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Great content. How much more time is left on this episode? Do you want to talk about a time when you were an asshole and you didn't mean to be? Did you think of yes, that? Yes, I thought about There's it There's so lot. many of them. Well, <laughs> you could probably tell if Well, you I mean, he's yeah. got so many. I, I told I told. You them. told but the about worst me ones. being an asshole to you, even. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I would love to hear this, actually, because I don't think of you as, like, a, a mean person. Material. Well, I'll tell the story if if you well, want. Yeah, it's, whatever. Tell the story. I, I was just okay. telling her how uh, sometimes I pee on the seat and leave it. Sometimes. And then do you Every like time. sit in it? Well, yeah, because I don't see it. Because it's the middle of and the night. And I get so said. angry. And he's like, it's, it's not pee. It's just water. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right, bro. Well, because we also have a bidet. And sometimes when you like. Yeah, but no, yeah, that's not better. It's not splashing. That's about, still yeah, that's poo water. water. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's perfectly clean water. <laughs> he's yeah. like, don't worry. It's not piss. It's just a little bit of shit mixed with water. <laughs> But like things like that. So I thought that's of gross. this. That's some shit of like living with a like a boy. Oh, I mean, no, you live with your brother, but I I've never lived with a, yeah. a man. He's really. clean. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's this one that's a problem. It's true. So what else? Uh, well, like another thing I thought of. I got mad at him the other day. I wear like gloves to wash the dishes. Oh yeah, because I'm a sensitive skin queen. Anyway, and he like I'll like leave them on the co- co- like corner of the sink, and every time like. I'm done the dishes. I leave them there to dry. He'll like open the cabinet and the way they're like tossed underneath, like just looks like they've been, it's been tossed with so much rage. No, and I and that re- hurts my feelings. But, like, are you he- mad at my gloves? Like, what? And then I'm like, wait, is this like my own insecurity or is he just putting them under? The thing? You know, because I like so, so the <laughs> way. Do you swing them in there? Like, yeah, they, so are I they do, together? They're no. To, no. Well, the thing is, so like, talk crime scene. And are they together? They're there. far apart. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the way it is, like, when you open the place under, this is. Super inside baseball. <laughs> I, when I open the when I open the Look cabinet, at Matt, he's falling asleep. Yeah, no, this <laughs> no, is no, a bad no. example. When no, I no, no, no. The, I love it. I love I, it. I when love I it. open the cabinet, there's yeah. like containers of like Tide Pods and stuff under there, mm-hmm. and I don't want to put white gloves on that to ruin the thing, so I toss them a little bit further. But when I throw them because they're two separate entities, sometimes one gets caught on the thing and one gets over. So I just no. I just mostly want to get them past. You're just being an asshole and you're throwing my and gloves under there. And I throw them under there because they're. Fucking with the feng shui. But are you aside. upset at the gloves? Though? No, they're just in the not, way. That's not where they belong. They don't belong. Where do the they cabinet. belong? Under the sink. But past the Tide Pods. It doesn't matter where. <laughs> they, it just. I don't want to ruin the Tide Pods with. Wet what if gloves. you guys get a little like? <laughs> if you guys get a little container for the gloves. Well, they're big gloves. Apparently, now I'm just <laughs> fixing problems. <laughs> okay, no, bad example. We'll move on. No, I, no, no, no. It's actually a very funny example. It's su- such a an example that's like. So Mike that he would like just like but like toss why does gloves. it hurt my feelings you know like well let's dive in why does it hurt your feelings well, that's the thing do like, you feel like it's a metaphor a for crazy asshole <laughs> what what okay so when you see the gloves mm. just mishandled <laughs> <laughs> just just completely <laughs> like, <laughs> experiencing homelessness <laughs> what do you what do you like what's the conversation that ensues I think oh my god he's mad at me he threw my gloves do you rage. tell him this. Yeah, I brought it up once, and he's like, "What?" It's like I'm just putting that away. <laughs> Dude, I'm a gaslight. I'm he a consent is. kink, and I'm a yeah, gaslight. Yeah, he gaslight. Yeah. Gaslight a lot. What was the other thing I gaslight you on? I gaslight oh, myself all the time. So, so I, how did you gaslight her about the gloves? I told him like, no, like I'm, I wasn't. Ga- I was literally like, I don't care where they are. I just don't want them on the cab on the counter. So I put them under. I like. I don't hate that. But with so much rage, you have like sensitive skin and you use them to like that one. why can't the gloves live on the counter because it cluttered i know it's hard for you to relate but like <laughs> i don't like having like misplaced things where they don't belong but you anyway, can do you pee on really this toilet yeah no either. problem yeah. there's no clutter yeah. when it comes to pee no pee is like it 
P is okay. <laughs> not an object. <laughs> it's a liquid. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Another okay. time I was an asshole. Okay. So I I don't think you're an asshole, by the way, in that in that scenario. Oh, thank you. I think Mike is OCD and I think Mike yeah, doesn't like the gloves on the counter. But you know counter. he's not because like I'm the one always cleaning up. Well, you're sanitizing. Yeah. yeah, there's like cleaning and ordering though. I feel like I he's order yeah. Mike, I feel like Mike's yeah, always true. tidying things up. Yeah. But so then like, everything I, is still dirty. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But like I don't care. You can't see. And when you um cleaned your dishes with your bidet. Oh, he still does that. Oh, okay. Like I'm if there's grease in, in a pan, that. it's like in the toilet. I'm like, you think <laughs> Yeah. But the bidet is like a ho- it's not a bidet. it's like a hose that you Oh yeah, it's not like coming out of the toilet. So seat. you go to the toilet with the pan and wash it. Yeah, yeah. just because it's really very high he pressure. Takes, he takes the gun that he yeah. uh, his bum gun uh-huh. that he uses for his bum. <laughs> yes. And he fucking sprays it on the pan. Right, and right next to all the piss on the seat. Yeah. No, no, no. I lift the seat because I don't want the grease to splatter on the toilet. Right. Because God I just, the grease splattered on the toilet, but the pee is okay. Exactly. <laughs> well, the grease is like yucky looking. But like, what's the difference between putting that down the toilet drain versus the sink? Like, what is it's your just goal? It's easier. It, the pressure easier to from clean. the hose. Removes the like. I think you just need to get like a kitchen gun and not yeah. use your bum gun for your I mean, kitchen. The gun. There's just ha- something very unhygienic the about all of that, has and that's pressure. coming from me. But it doesn't matter <laughs> the source of what, and it's also like, for example, if I no, don't want to have no like. There's no way, Mike. There's you don't think you ever touch your anus with the bum gun? No, of course Heck, not. I hope or not. like water yeah. splashback. Oh, for sure. For sure, there's water splat. There, you can't live. But I mean, water. we do wash the pan with soap after. Don't worry. Yeah, about yeah, we put, yeah. Just to get rid <laughs> yeah. of the chunks. It's not just it pure just toilet. Feels wrong. It is like, so It's just weird. like like eating when you're shitting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't do that. That's crazy. He puts a lot of stuff down the toilet, like coffee beans, uh, tea coffee leaves. Beans coffee like, beans like full or, or no, no, ground? No, 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 ground, ground. Okay, ground, ground is. But good. mostly like. But I just like, put in a garbage. Soup, like if it's something's like mold. <laughs> Again, we're really get really <laughs> deep down into some crazy stuff. But if like. If I have to throw something out in it, the majority of it is liquid, it's going in the toilet. Yeah. I guess. That, yeah, instead of in the garbage. Have, then it's easier to get rid of, you know? the sink, yeah. Okay, so what's know. another time you were an asshole? A real asshole. Um, again, well, like, I'm, I ne- I'm never, you like... Out of, remember when I gaslit oh. you out of uh, being mad at me for throwing out a container? Oh, fuck. He threw out a full container. Yeah, so my friend, she bakes a lot, and she's like always so nice. Like thinks of us, brings us stuff. Well, no, no, hey, she ba- she thinks of us, and then she brings Lauren stuff. Well, sometimes I share <laughs> with you. You share with? Yeah. I'm sure she shares, yeah. and not every time. Depends on the portion. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it needs to be. <laughs> and she bigger brought than it to me amount. in this container, and I brought the container home and gave him a piece of the cake or whatever it was. And the one thing she said to me was, "Can I just have the container?" But back? didn't say that to me. I, I didn't I, tell I, Mike that, but it's like a. What kind of wear. container was it? Glass? No. No, it's plastic. A, you know, you know, like when you go to you worked at Rockaberries. Yes. You know, when you buy like an individual slice, it comes in like a plastic container. No, it's it 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 was better than that. It was. A slightly it's like the oh, Costco meal prep. Uh, oh, I know the Costco black ones. bottom with a clear top. Oh, yeah. okay. But okay. to me, it looked like it was plastic. It oh, you thought it was like a takeout? Yeah, yeah. Container. It was like, like that's what I w- if I were to give somebody leftovers, like oh, like try some of this thing. Like I would give them in that because I mm. don't expect it back. Right. And then she got <laughs> really anyway, he threw fired it out, up. and I was like, oh fuck! Like my friend wanted that back, and then he's like. Whoa, you're overreacting. It's just a container. I'm like, well, you could at least like be like, oh shit, I'm sorry. Like, I was He's like, not why really are you good at apologies. mad at me for just being like shit? You know, like I didn't yeah. say you're a stupid idiot. Why'd you throw that out? You no, know, but I the was reaction just like, Fuck. was like, I didn't expect. He said for it was the... unproportional. Yeah, it to was the like situation. <laughs> it was. That's it was like so <laughs> textbook gaslighting. Dude, that it, smoke was. <laughs> 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 but you just made me angrier by your reaction. Yeah. And did you then say sorry? No. No, he never yeah. apologized. Because and then I cried. I <laughs> cried because I was so exhausted, though. It had nothing I to do her. with the container. <laughs> <laughs> it's like breakdown. You're yeah, just like, you know, no. sometimes you just, like, you can't just hold it in anymore. Yeah. It was, anyway, so that was a fun. You know what But you, you should have apologized. No. Let's talk I about Because I did nothing this. wrong. You You did do something wrong. No. I, no, you, I threw you, out a container. No, but and your I, actions no, but I offered... led to something yeah. that was, um, your actions led to a situation... Your actions put Lauren in a situation that was unfavorable, and you could have apologized no, no. for that because it was an accident. But even when you, yeah, when you didn't even, even apologize, even when for it's the accident. an accident, no, but I you still can solution. apologize. You can also apologize for the fact that you made a mistake. But it wasn't a. I didn't know it was a mistake. But just because I you don't know you, it's a mistake, I literally told you right away. That's why I was upset. 
But, but, but then I offered to remedy that mistake by giving her a different container, a much better glass container, <laughs> and she was like, no, it's... Uh, 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 <laughs> but it was besides the point. Well, it's also annoying because it's at Costco, so now it's like you have to go to Costco to replace anyway, it. Anyway, my friend wasn't that upset about the container. I was like, we're in a fight now. She's like, no, don't fight about a <laughs> container. It doesn't matter. But... Anyway, anyway, so I, she's moving out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just talk about more times where Mike was the asshole. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I just want for Jelly to weigh in. Was he wrong? Uh, I mean, just like uh, my bad. Isn't yeah. That yeah. That's, yeah. That's what but I was saying. Uh, I, I apologize saying, to, to the owner of the container. Did you? You no. messaged her? No, I told her, like, uh, told you, tell, like, I'm sorry about the container. You told no, her you to didn't. tell you? I told you to tell her that I'll replace the container. That's you doing literally nothing in that situation. Yeah, but. You could have texted her and said, hey, it's my bad. I threw out the container. Would you it's like us to replace it. it? It's not worth it's it for not, what? No, not worth the text. Not worth the text. Not worth the text, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Kings of petty moments. <laughs> <laughs> you did something wrong, though. You made an act. You made a mistake. I mean, I threw out a container that I thought was not important, and it was important, and I'll now... You know what it is? I learned a good lesson. Now What's I ask, the lesson? I ask about containers. <laughs> Moving. Great. Yeah, that's, not the only, that's not the only. That's not the only. That's not the only lesson you should have learned. I have a question. Do you not apologize unless your intentions were bad? No, I no no no. no. I apologize if Good if my tonight. intentions were bad. No, I don't think you ever have bad intentions. No, I, I very I seldom have ba- like if yeah. I do something unintentionally that leads to a thing worth a, like not worth that made a person feel shitty. Girlfriend, I tend to apologize, (laughs) but if if it if like it needs to be explained to me that an apology is warranted. No, you don't apologize if you don't think you like by your definition, by your moral code, by your whatever. If you by your definition of of behavior, if you don't feel that you've done anything wrong, you will die on that. Yeah, the thing is, like, and that is one of the most irritating things about doing it. Yeah, like currently now, (laughs) we like. We squashed it, but I still don't think that you see gonna, it I'm from gonna, my side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to apologize. For that. <laughs> You're <laughs> walking <is> home. <laughs> I have my car. Okay, let's talk about sometimes Mike was an asshole because I'm sure there's like real. Because yeah, oh, also man. both of those times, that wasn't you being an asshole. No, I, I definitely can. <laughs> no, be that an was asshole. me an asshole because I, I threw out the thing, right? Oh, and, right. Yeah. Is that like the the worst it's gotten? Of him being She's an asshole? Like, no, 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 no. I can be an asshole when we were on our trip. I'm like a little. No, when am I you guys went on a trip. It's true. You just went to Portugal. Uh, save that thought for after. Okay. I feel like I want to balance it out a little okay. bit. Okay. 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 So you were not. We're going. You. We're going back to you. Yes. Okay. So we were in, and this happens in many cases, not just traveling. So but you were traveling. We were traveling. We were on a two week trip to Portugal, and that's another thing that pisses me off. He's always on his phone constantly. Yeah. And you're not even texting me. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> the group chat's popping off. <laughs> um, I like, I'm a little, like, I, I like to say I'm chill, but sometimes I'm a bit uptight when, like, very small. Oh, did you make a face? <laughs> no, I did look at him to see if he was making a face, but he just, like. No, I was itching. Okay. It's, I was taking my like, It just knows like he had whiskers is what he did. Um, <laughs> I like You're overreact walking home. sometimes with like minor inconveniences, like things that aren't a really a big deal. I'm like, oh, like, oh, it's such a. Anyway, and we had a long travel day. We had some issues getting into our hotel. And like, you know, when you're just like fucking tired yeah. and like one little thing goes wrong and it feels like the end of the world, but like yeah. you have to kind of be like, relax, like it's fine. Anyway, I was like, being a little bit of a bitch. I don't think I was saying anything nasty, but I was just very short with him. He like, you know, he's never in a bad mood. He's never True, like you really are never in a bad mood. I'm a golden fever anything. man. You know why? It's Literally. He never apologizes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never do anything wrong. He never he feels bad. World, it's just all rainbows. Yeah. He's perfect. Okay, so but he's yeah, in a great he's, he's a, always he's chipper and you're a, not I'm feeling more it. like just like oh, like annoyed. Annoyed. Annoyed, yeah. Um and then so he we sat down for lunch and we got in trouble by the waiter for sitting down without being seated and I was just so like uncomfortable and overwhelmed you know overwhelmed yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then he's like uh, can I tell you something I'm like yeah <laughs> and then he's like you know like you're really short with me like this happens a lot when you're like annoyed this and that and then I was like. <laughs> you know, you're just at wit's end, and obviously the last thing I'd want to do is like be mean to him or like hurt him. 
But uh, yes, well, I get like I would that. Do, yeah. <laughs> I get like that. One of the I first things. It, actually. I see it at work. I see it, like when people like annoy me or like in minor inconvenience inconveniences happen, I can get like fucking pissed off really easily. Like irritable. Irritable. I'm yeah. irritable also. Irritable, yeah. annoyed, and I'm just like very short. And then he goes, and another thing. And I'm like, I can't handle another thing. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, you were ignoring me. He's like, I was talking to you and you were ignoring me. But the thing is, it's important that she ignores me a lot. Yeah. Because I just like ramble. Ramble and go. Silly so stuff. So like a lot of stuff mouth. is like, yeah, just like forget. Like that was just me being dumb. But like sometimes I'm like, checking in or like i want like validation or like feedback mm -hmm. and then i was like hey like bah. well no the example was we were walking down cobblestone road with our suitcases another thing that pissed me off <laughs> that's yeah. not me that's the cobblestone and it's like you know don't 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 don't, don't like the suitcase is going yeah. down and he's asking all, like five thousand questions where what turn are we taking and i'm the one like navigating us and I would never intentionally ignore you. I just didn't hear him. <laughs> what did you say? Well, he was asking. No, a just like questions. I was like, oh, like did you see that thing? How yeah. crazy was that? Like, what about this thing? Like, she uh, couldn't hear you over the. But no, she, no, she did not want to talk. Yeah, she. she yeah, was, nobody you know? wants to talk when they're dragging their suitcase over a cobblestone. Yeah. I wanted to talk when I was dragging the suitcase. Like, oh. You should have been dragging both. Yeah. Then you could have been no, asking her all the then, questions. That, that would have been a lot more cumbersome. <laughs> For you, the sidewalks are real narrow. No, yeah, they're real narrow. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, it would have been like she's you a strong, stuck. independent woman. She could carry her own well, weight. Another okay, thing so was pissing me off every time you try to take my suitcase. You're like, you could tell I was pissed. So he's like, let me take it for you. I'm like, no, that's, that's just more stupid. You know, like you're just yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I can get like that a lot. And my my parents tell me all the time too the same thing. Like they're like, don't let that stuff bother you. You know, but it's like I'm annoyed. Like. I can't yeah. control it. <laughs> and then when people tell you not to be annoyed, you're like, well, but, yeah, I would love that. Exactly. Because you're really more annoyed at yourself than you are at exactly. anyone else. You're like Unless annoyed that you stoic. let it make you feel that way. Do you ever get annoyed? Of course. I'm annoyed right now. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you annoyed about? Right now? Yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, um, he gets. You do get hangry. Yeah. I have no, noticed not that. that. But Mark, Mark. I'm actually, my mind's kind of blown because I just actually, I did actually realize that you're never really in a bad mood. No, because it's I care about very few things. We talked about how caring is lame on yeah. two episodes. I've concluded that caring mm. about most things is lame. And it's funny you say that because I was like telling one of my friends, like the little tiff we had, we like squashed it right away. But she's like, well, yeah, you get like that because you care about things. And I was like, I guess so. You know, like, yeah, not to but sound some all things like, are you know? not worth caring about. Yeah, Which but you're right. And then I would feel so much better if I didn't like if I just let those things go, you know, like, why does it like rock me so much? You know, like, it's not it's not important. It's not a big yeah. deal, but you care about it. I guess. I just love when things go seamless. Apathy is an, a superpower, I think. <laughs> Do you ever feel like you're just dissociating, though? No, I'm like very present. I feel like, you know. And like, I know I'm not going to die of hunger. So like, yeah, it's annoying to feel hungry, but like. In an hour, I'm going to go get food. Also, I'm stinky. <laughs> In an hour, I'm going to get food and, and shower. Eat. Yeah, and shower. Yeah, you got to shower. Yeah. Another thing about Mike being an asshole, may I add? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. This is Can a go. real good one. And I'm glad I remembered. So I work night shift. I'm a nurse. I'm constantly exhausted. This guy sleeps easily oh, eight this to is nine a hours a night. Okay? Oh, no, no. Eight, six to seven. I have a no watch more. that proves it. Well, anyway, he goes to bed at like 9 p.m. He gets up at 6 or 7, like, yeah. cry me a river. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you sleeping? Just so the audience oh, knows. Like, uh, I get home at 8 o'clock. I sleep like 8 till 3 on a good day. But like my first day, uh, uh, my first day working, like I don't sleep at all. You know, I go right into work. Anyway, he is always complaining about how tired he is when he slept like a long night and then sometimes I'll try to nap. This is one time in particular. I tried to take a nap before my shift. That's a good one. This guy's like, oh, I'm going to join you. I want to take a nap too. He snored for like oh, two yeah. hours straight, He's... tossing, turning. The dog's no, jumping in fault. and out of the bed. I didn't sleep a wink, and I'm going into a 12-hour shift. He wakes up. Oh, man, I'm feeling groggy. Like, I think I slept too much. He's complaining that he slept too much to someone who's about to work, who hasn't slept like... True. Where do you find the audacity? <laughs> you do have a lot of audacity. I, did yeah. you feel bad? What did you do? Uh, yeah, I felt after bad, the I'm situation. Like, no, you don't. Yeah, he do thinks that? it's funny, and he's jet, but he's genuinely complaining. He's like, "Oh man, I don't feel good. I slept too much." But bad. now, I, now, what I've done, 
personally is I stopped talking about how I feel about sleep. That's good. You know? Because you do get, you do sleep a lot. Up for debate. A lot is subjective. Oh, oh my God. Do you sleep well? Yes. Depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Depends. I check my watch. I sleep with a... You have an Apple watch. Yeah. But I your watch, watch, like, counts, like, you, like, turning over as you waking up, but you're not awake. No, but some, like... No, it's, like, not terrible about, like, when I wake up to go to the bathroom, if I toss and turn before and... Anyway. I think All given your, the well. layout of your apartments and, like, the fact that both of you live in that apartment and that you still manage to get any sleep, that's crazy. Oh boy. Perfect for sleep. The way your apartment is laid out is not... It's it, it, it would not be ideal for one person to be taking to a have nap opposite and schedules, then yeah. and to have opposite schedules. It's very like impressive that you guys make it work. I think yeah. most of the time it's fine for yeah. you. <laughs> God, so I didn't maybe, know was shit on so my maybe, maybe maybe because she doesn't sleep, you can make some concessions and let her have her um, gloves on the yeah. <laughs> I'll sleep better knowing this you're is going to be so good for all the couples listening because like really these are all like issues that like couples deal with, right, Matt? Well, they don't live together. Do you deal with any of these issues similarly with your girlfriend? Um, yeah, just her waking up early and needing like ten alarms because she has a nine to five, oh. and I'm like, I stay up late because of comedy and shit. And that once I wake up, I'm like, I'm up and I don't feel good after. So that was always uh, the alarms are yeah. are bad. Oh yeah, that would suck. Do you hear his alarm? Oh well, you're not home when he gets exactly. up. Exactly. So Sometimes that you hear my works. alarm. Yeah, it's like a freaking yeah, war a, siren a, a, is alarm. What is your alarm sound? It's awful. It's just like and you just changed it to something even worse. Can you I tell think. me which sound? Like right now? No, yeah, look take... right now. You were on your phone <laughs> just earlier. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> you get to be on your phone now. Cause I no, just because I use cert I use a certain alarm and it doesn't wake me up. I'm I'm that bitch. I'm the ten alarm bitch. Honestly, it's, it's called not Apex. to be not to be sexist, but it's every woman I've ever interacted with. Every woman you've ever interacted with. It's just eleven alarms. Well, that's mine too. Really? I think it's so awful. It is awful. Yeah. It actually starts my but day I guess terrible. That's how it gets you up. Yeah. yeah. I, I need to change it because it's a really bad one, actually. Apex. Yeah, well it works for me, you know. Um do you set have to set multiple alarms? Uh no. No, you're quite good at waking yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Once you're awake. Because I barely waking. sleep? No. <laughs> No, I yeah, <laughs> I don't need that many alarms. Do you have like really good um, sleep hygiene? Like, uh, do you meaning like no screen time, this and that. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting better. I've been you big are. into reading lately, so mm. I do that instead of looking at instead my of phone. your phone. Yeah. Or, but I often fall asleep with like my laptop on it with a show on. Yeah, yeah. probably. Do not you great for put you. your phones in the same room when you guys go to sleep? Yeah. So you don't sleep together ever, really. Only Except on for when you're napping. Yeah, fifty percent of the time. It's awesome. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like yeah. the secret to yeah. a happy Man, relationship. Because you, you like miss them when they're gone, and then you get them, which is exciting. And then, oh, and then they it, leave it, again. It's a short, short yeah, and sweet, then, like and two then, nights off, and it's like. Okay. But then when we were on vacation, or oh yeah, how okay? So how is overall? Yeah, how is the vacation other than you being? Honestly, it doesn't even sound like she's that bad on vacation. <laughs> you didn't go with her. <laughs> yeah, but you've never been with me on vacation. No, we we don't have the same vacation style. No, I, can, I think you and I, I, I no, you and Michelle, no okay. me, me and Mike, but I think I could uh, acclimate to your style. I don't this, think you this, could acclimate to mine. I, Lauren like I, I could do the biz. I've done the busy vacation. You, you travel very much like one of my best friends and I've traveled with her and it, we've always traveled well together. Um, her and I, we have like a 75% overlap of things we want to do. Okay. That's really high. And then like the 25% that she would rather like lounge and chill. I would rather like walk around. I'm a sloth. So, I love to lounge. Me too. I love yeah. to rot. Oh, yeah. I'm oh a my god! Big yeah, rotting so, bitch. So that that was fine. But like, all of our sleeps were like really good, except for like occasionally when like we didn't sleep well. Like one of us for whatever reason. Okay. I feel like we took turns having like shitty sleeps once in a while, I but like know. nothing yeah. noteworthy. And like sometimes I would wake up before and then like I'll go get a coffee on my own. Yeah. Did you guys? ever do stuff alone like did you ever like yeah. separate yeah. and do your he went own to thing? do uh jujitsu jiu a few times nice break for me i would just go like to a bar and have a drink or read or whatever it was nice yeah yeah That's i don't so understand nice. this guy has boundless energy <laughs> <laughs> not like that what the fuck was that Dude, all I'm trying what to the <laughs> fuck was that was that you what yeah, like <laughs> Ew. Uh, no we would like have a huge day of like traveling walking this and that and then it's like 8 p.m and i'm done like i want to go just like chill and go to bed he's like 
oh, well, there's a jujitsu class like in a half an hour, um, a half an hour walk away from here. So I'm going to go. And I'm just like, where do you get And it's get lovely. That? I walk there. Yeah. I take in the city. I met a really nice guy. We chatted. He bought me ice cream. He hooked me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, got me ice cream. Like I got to know like what it's like to live in the city. And then we wa- I walked home. We said our goodbyes. I follow him on Instagram now. And. I got some exercise. I feel good. I mean, it's wonderful. I just don't get where you find it. Like, I could never. And I I would have to, like, pump myself never. up all day to be like, okay, I have this class. I'm going to take it easy. Like, we had, like, a few, like, trains to take. Then we did a walking tour. We did this, that. Yeah. Like, I was dead. And he's Mike like, does a go. lot of stuff and doesn't complain about it. Yeah. You never really complains. are, like, a, you do a lot of shit in one day. Yeah. It's infuriating. Complaining is... Uh, Useless. Okay, that's enough of you. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't advance. He makes me uh, feel, I mean, not for what you say or anything, but just how you are compared to how I am. Like, I feel like the biggest piece of shit. Oh, my God. Like, I, I could just lay down and watch TV all day, and he's yeah. like, go, 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 this, that, this. I'm like, where do you find the energy? When you're walking and you're doing your walks because you wander constantly, <laughs> are you, like... I'm listening to a pod. You're listening to a pod, or are you, yeah. like, just looking at buildings? I'm both. I could. Do you ever walk with nothing? Sometimes. I think those oh, people very are rarely. Psychopaths. Rarely, like like if if I'm alone and I don't if I if I'm alone, the only reason I would walk without a pod is if it's my phone's dead. There's always right. something. And are you stimulated by that? I'm not like no. It's just like a like it's just an enjoyable environment to be in. Like I'm listening to an interesting conversation and I'm looking at like oh this. Cool. Sometimes I like pause it to like read a. Pl- I, I like reading plaques. <laughs> you know, when you like walk in a city and sometimes there's a plaque. Right. I'll read the plaque. Just cause the work. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like an intro. Like, what's interesting it? about it? I don't know why this building is like this. Who like? What's is it like an engineering thing? Like, is like a nerdy like? Sh- no, it's like fuck. Like thing? this is like the I've first. Never, I've never read a plaque in my life. This is no. like the first church built on this less. hill. Like, okay, fucking cool. interesting. Yeah, for, it is cool. Who? Cool for who? Well, in fact, for me, like, I'm <laughs> on my, I'm on vacation. I think it's interesting why this church is here. Like, is there like a cool story about it? I know more things about you know. Right. Why are you making making it sound like being informed I, no, I is just, not? I, cool. I truly can't relate. Okay. I'm well, not. I'm not. Enjoy make... sitting on a beach all day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not on a beach. Okay. Well, no, it's fine. Also, you were on a beach. I was on a beach. That's but my I was also- doing it. I know. <laughs> so when you go on like, okay, so because you went to Portugal, Portugal was very much like a go, go, go kind of vacation, obviously, no. as Europe is. What? Well, Europe, you're always like doing things. You're seeing There's, things. Like, things also, see. are you the kind of guy that goes to see a, like a church? No. Because it's a cool? No, I, no, no. Or I'd go rather... see monuments because they're like in the no, guidebook? No. Are no. you a guidebook traveler? No, I'll go like, uh, walk, like I'll take a walking. I'm a big walking tour guy. We're we both enjoy. Yeah, they're walking. fun. They walking like, tours are nice because, yeah. like, you meet people. Well, you people. don't like them, but I've done them on every trip I've ever been on. But you, you hate. I hate walking, <laughs> but I'm a people pleaser, so okay. you know, one wins <laughs> over the other. <laughs> I've actually gotten into walks. I told you this earlier. Yes, you did. I have to do two walks a day now. I'm, I, I have love to walk myself. A walk. A stir fry. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> okay, what's the biggest fight you guys have ever had? Since we're, this is well, that basically. One. The, container. Well, the container was. <laughs> you guys, that's amazing. Well, that's the thing. I can't complain, you know? No. Yeah. We really never fought over no. anything else. No. And he said, okay, so Mike says some like outlandish, divisive things. Are you early? I love it. You love it? Early? I say them too, just in private. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you, do you think he means them or do you just know no. that he's joking around? I know he's joking. Okay. I'll be nice to you for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> No, What's otherwise you don't get fucking because you don't really get triggered by him, right? No, I I like it's, need I, him I to need validate you to teach my me how to do that. bad thoughts. Also, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you're like I have the same thoughts, so yeah. it's it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Does he ever troll you on anything? Because he's like a really big oh troll. god, yeah. Every time I put on an outfit, he'll be like, oh, uh, this the Yeehaw three thousand. Yeah, she like, has these <laughs> these like bell bottom jeans. I'm like, oh, like what. Fucking rodeo, are you going to? Uh, what was the or other that thing? Top with the fluff. Yeah, she, she has, she has like, like a the, here he here he. Yeah, she looks like she's a court jester. I'm like, uh, <laughs> like thirteen hundred. I call try the, to get a little like experimental with my outfits. Yeah, you know, either something, but it's he's just joking. It's good. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. dad was always like, 
like hard on me in that sense in a joking way so like, like tease, yeah, yeah, teasing. Tease, yeah yeah so you're so used to being I've teased a, a thick skin and that well, that's why she's good at ignoring a lot of the well that's oh, why yeah. i was saying before when you were like i ignore a lot of what he says i was like oh that's what i have to do oh yeah, yeah well yeah. you so did actually get... a very good thing when you posted that thing on instagram and i was like you're like oh like you said a joke dismissed it and like yeah well i, I tried to diffuse it oh you nailed it I was like, oh, like, he I'm working on me about it. He's like, oh, I like trolled Michelle about something she posts. I'm like, and he's like, she took it really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, she's a this is what I deal with. Like, <laughs> there, he does it on purpose. You have to let it bounce off. I know, I know. Well, I know. no, there, it, it was why. a valid you know, point. Well, we could discuss that. that's a, up for discussion. But. Yeah, like, no, no, it wasn't a valid point. It was, it was just like a way. I, what I've learned recently, in the it very with recent. Not only diffusing with humor, but kind of just using people's tactics against them. Yeah, exactly. You bushidoed me. Right. <laughs> and yeah. so the, the, because, the because code. recently I got into like a ver- like a big blowout with someone close to me. And you I keep don't- getting into blowouts. Hey, Randall, why is that? Yeah, I'm Polly D. <laughs> <laughs> blowout Central. Um, no, who else did I get into a blowout with? You got into one with me, one with that person, another one with well, another. Well, it's just you and this person. These are the only two people I get into blowouts with. But the the, the com- I'm co- getting you, there. I'm getting got, there. You got the into a comedy trend. blowout. With who? I'm sure there's like a whole comedy thing that. No. It's not a blowout, but it was like a whole. It wasn't a blowout. It wasn't a blowout, but it it's a. Uh, it was extensions. No. It was, it, <laughs> it was, see? Nailed it. <laughs> um, no, but no. The common thread between you and this other person I had a blowout with is that, well, there's that. But also, um, <laughs> but also that you both trigger me. Trigger, but okay. <laughs> Put the mask on. That's a mask. Yeah. Um, you both trigger me. And um I'm like through working it out with you, I'm like trying to work it out with that other person right. of like, don't let them get to you. Mm. Caring is lame. Because you kind of like you said, caring is lame. Wow, caring circle. is super And then lame. also like when you, the thing about building two graves, I feel that same, like revenge, you were saying you build two graves. Dig two graves. You don't, usually you build mausoleums, you, you dig you graves. You build a mausoleum, <laughs> yeah. whatever, you di- whatever, you dig two graves. Right. One for yourself, one for another. I feel that way about arguing. I feel that way about like getting into like these like, mm like verbal altercations with people because like you don't end up leaving feeling good. No. Like it's not like I leave that situ those situations feeling good. Right. Yeah. That's what I think like most discussions but about. But why am I so easy to like cuz you come after me I think because you the care same about reason. too many things. Right. So I care too much. You care not too much. You but care about too many things. Too many different things. Yeah. So you would like it if I cared about less things. I would things. narrow I, it down. I, no, no. I don't <laughs> care what you like. Like, <laughs> you could like what you. you but could, why do you no. always try to push your buttons? Like well, no, that? it's I just. Well, first of all, I'm just trying to have this. Well, I like having this. I think it's fun for you. Admit yeah, it. it. Doesn't no, seem fun no, if you, it no, like no. Puts I, you guys like at all. No, you know? I like, like having interesting. Dis- first of all, I learned a lot from talking to you. Yeah, I right? learned a lot from talking right? to so you. Right, so I learn yeah. a lot, and I never come. I never argue with you with, like with an agenda. I'm never like. Oh like, really? Because sometimes I'm like, I think he's bored at work. <laughs> no, no, but in the in the in the sense that <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, I'm giving, I'm losing. No, no, and it, it, that's very often the case. But I'm right. never like arguing with you with like a, like I'm not trying to like convert. Like if you don't agree with me, I don't care, and if you do agree with me, I don't care. I'm like, this is like an interesting topic mm. of just dis- i'm trying to have discussions i'm not trying to have like because you have no emotional right he's not trying to like to things. when you don't it. care about yeah. things you don't have emotional well that's it so like things. i think it's like oh like fuck like isn't the thing that i i roll like the eye roll emoji thing like oh like isn't that like a funny like thing and you're like like i didn't care. i'm like oh we could like have a chat about what you think about this person and like i i don't have I'm, i don't have a vested interest in the outcome of this discussion. I just right. want to have a discussion. But do you think that not being able to not care about things and like being what able do you mean to not being able well, to? Well, you not. say like app, you are in a position you feel like you don't have to care about a lot of things. Do or you, you just choose not or to? Or you choose yeah. not to. Um, do you think that's like a privilege? Of course, yeah. But like if you have the like Okay. So like, some but yeah, sometimes like some, people, some people don't have that privilege. Sometimes uh, people's opinions are baked into like people's opi- people have opinions on other people's existence. Sure, but like which which to, to your credit, I'm you yeah, like, you you do. And the you thing could is, like, you could be emotional in yeah, that way and, for and sure. And yeah. I, I think like So how do you 
as like has someone who's could have an emotional attachment to even certain things that's going that are going on well, that we won't is- even get into. How do you like detach yourself from that? Wait, what? So that you're not like so that you're not offended. Well, empath- how do you not get a, how do you manage not being offended? Well, I'm not the thing like I'm not. A, what do you mean? How would I manage not being? Well, because you don't get offended by things like I, if, I, some some things for sure. But like, no, I know. But in an argument, you just said like if if you agree with me, well, it's not I an argument. It's a discussion. That's the difference. Okay, fine. In a discussion, right? You just said, <laughs> but that's how we're like, arguing at, over. Terms. He looks at it all very lightly. I think. Yeah, like that's like, why it doesn't bother could, him. We could talk yeah. about like yeah. a, like let's say you care about an issue. Yeah. And like I don't care about that issue, or right. vice versa. Right. Like. If I have an opinion or a preconceived notion, like I'm open to having my opinion changed, mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't, mm-hmm. and like all, if I'm presented with enough like relevant and in- like, the, there's a obviously an issue of like information sourcing. Like I, I get my information from too much of one source and not the other, maybe. But like mm-hmm. I'm that's why I like talking to you is because you get like uh, you present to me like a different POV, and I understand that there's an issue with that because it could be exhausting to always have like. No, I don't care giving you that POV but, at all. But um because you give me a different POV. Well, so but, I think but, that's what your friend, your close circle friends should do for well, you. Well, well, that's it. But like if if like I'm talking to a person who's like actively experience like it's different talking to a person who's experiencing an issue mm-hmm. versus a person who has an opinion of an issue. Mm-hmm. So like a person who's like actively going through something that is in the news. Mm-hmm. Has their opinion weighs a lot more to me than someone who's like because they have emotion they have well, they're, well, they have well, invested emotional stake well, well they it. have like yeah. lived experience with the thing right you know and like it just has holds more weight right and that's how I like but you so, don't so I like take the information that they give me a lot more seriously than like well like. Like this, someone the, who has an opinion on behalf of someone else. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. but I yeah. think Daniel Sauce has a great I thing about s- that. I can speak only on this uh, this third person that you're talking about because sometimes I have I am passionate on behalf of others only because, and and I'm I'm like working it out. It's definitely calmed down in recent years. I like I don't even engage with people anymore. I don't I don't care to. It's very exhausting for me too. But sometimes. There is to You're not even dating. <laughs> what do you mean? You're not engaged. Like, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm not even dating. <laughs> so stupid. Um, but as like a, the third person or as someone who has, you know, argued on behalf of someone else, my perspective on it is that because I don't have so much emotional stake in it that I can maybe help that person um, articulate points in a more objective way to someone like you who might be making statements that could be offensive to someone who maybe doesn't have the emotional like bandwidth to do but, so but the thing is like so that's my point but i'm not saying i, th- I see your point as well it's, it's valid but i think like this third person like if mm-hmm. they interact with me mm-hmm. like they're getting the same like respect and treatment that any other person's getting like getting so i'm not like i'm not like going out to be like oh like you're experiencing this like well, did you know that all these other people out there, like, they think, the like, no, like, I'm, you're just, like, a person. I'm going to talk to you nicely. and Right. And you do, people don't need to agree about everything. No. You know? And I like, think that is something that we, yeah, we struggle. Everyone kind of wants to find consensus. And, like, there's not always a consensus. Yeah. And it's important to, like, have someone around who, like, you agree with on a lot of things. You're, like, pointing to Lauren. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, we. Uh, That's great that you guys agree like, on a like lot of things. Also, like, some things you could disagree on. And, like, as long as. Like, you could find, like, even you and I, like, we disagree on a lot of things, but, like, mm-hmm. we're still friends throughout that because, like, yeah. there is value in, ha- because, like, like the person that you, like, often dis- the, disagree you're, you're, with, you're, like, actively scheming on getting rid of them from your life. Well, I think that person is rooted, <laughs> I think that person, where they're coming from is rooted in hate and ignorance. And so when I, when at least with you, when we have these discussions, I at least get a chance to understand where you're coming from, and you don't. And you also respect my opinion. You don't turn around and say that my opinion is wrong because it's not your opinion. Well, opinions are like a butthole. Right. Everybody has them. Yeah. And some of them are rooted in hate. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, we 
got to keep it light here, you know? No, but like, I think it's interesting because it is like you are somebody that I think we just we don't agree on everything. I think we agree on less things than we agree on. Do. But we agree on. I don't think I would disagree We agree on. That. on <laughs> but we agree on. A we agree on a lot of things. We agree on mutual respect, and I know that. I also know that you listen to me when I talk to you. What? So. <laughs> 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 I love when you make Matt laugh. Dude, I, like it's such a win for you, I know. I know. And it's just like it, it it makes my heart swell. Great. That um, might be a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> Cardio Yeah. But I also know that you listen to me and you take what? my consider oh my you God. take my you take my opinion, you take my bubble yeah. into consideration. <laughs> I can say it she's here. <laughs> um You know what I mean? Whereas like I not you'd everyone does. Her butthole more, actually. <laughs> You and I mean, also you think know. you're someone who's open. You're because you don't care. I'm like a butthole. I'm open. You're open because you <laughs> don't care about your opinion so much. You're not attached to. It's not your your opinions aren't your identity. Mm -hmm. no. Do you know what I mean? You're not attached to them. And yours so, are. So you'll let them go. No, I don't think so. Or maybe some of them are, but I'm trying to untangle them. Right. Yeah. And and as you get older, you will become. A maybe we should ask the nurse what we should conservative. do. <laughs> no, I, I won't. I, you're gonna be like, oh, this fucking two was way too confident. <laughs> I don't think I do, but I think what I was making the case earlier is that you are someone who has nuanced opinions on various. Yeah, I'm making nuances, dude. Yeah, so you're not like reading like a guidebook. You're not reading like. I don't toe the line. I yes. push the envelope. <laughs> I don't. Sure, sure. But, but you, but you just have. So I know that at the end of the day, you are taking the time to think critically on issues, sometimes. certain issues. And sometimes I'm. Like, sometimes you listen to a podcast and you just, you yeah, know, regurgitate okay. it. But sometimes, but at least you're open to like. Yeah, and if you're like, oh, well, like, did you hear this other podcast where they said this? I'm like, yeah, well, I'll listen to that maybe one day when I'm driving home. Yeah. And sometimes you know. And that's how you and I stay friends. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, I feel like. Do we argue? We still argue a lot. <laughs> but I'm trying hard not to. Yeah, and you did an excellent job. Uh, Dismiss, uh, yeah, you're not like, dismissing, diffusing. You, 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 actually, you're a hack, dude. You stole my joke. No, I just used your joke against well, you. Well, yeah, but you When used you were trying to guilt me. And you had said something yeah. weeks prior that, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is another thing that she hates that I do. Oh, I what? fidget a lot. He's so fidgety. I'm sure Matt will be annoyed at the sounds and the mic that he's clicking his watch. No sounds. Oh. <laughs> I, that's and here why I, I am. I took off my bracelets because I was like, they're going to jingle. I don't want to ruin anything. Yeah. He's so Well, it's fidgety. okay. Josh was literally like, <laughs> last episode. So I think the watch is fine. Um, okay. So the biggest fight you guys have ever had was. We had, I, yeah. We was don't really Tupperware Gate. No, we, we have a very good. Um, <laughs> Tupperware Gate. I'm like. Uh, Communications app. Five. Yeah. This is, I'm like, hey, like this thing. I don't like it when you do that. Or she'll be like, hey, like. We call it out right away. Yeah. Like quickly you know you don't let it and fester like, even even like the, that's good the, the tupperware work that, thing work like, on the p festering but the communication <laughs> style is no good. the p is just like a biology thing you know um <laughs> there's three genders and my p will get on the toilet seat like um <laughs> <laughs> what? i don't know I wanted, I, it didn't even make sense no, so i um, can't even make we you wear the mask things out right away yeah like yeah. when we had the miscommunication where i don't think i was wrong about uh, <laughs> <laughs> about the tupperware uh like we you like know what the punishment should be your friend your your friend is no longer allowed to make sweets for mike yeah they're all for me the thing, yeah <laughs> i was like oh then she doesn't get any but she could yeah she yeah. sees that person she works with that person but um no the, my, <laughs> my point was like we chilled a bit and i'm like oh there's a tension and then <laughs> And I'm like, why are you mad at me? And she's like, this is how I feel. And I'm like, this is how I feel. So can we meet? A and then we had a chat. And like, it's just and so unimportant, you know? I, like, I gaslit her into being like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think as long as, like, nobody's, like, being actively, like, nasty toward the, towards the other one. Your like, nasty rhymes, fam. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> what? But if you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. yeah. Stay out of the dog. And the thing is, like. Stay out of the dog house. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she, I could always be like, oh, well, like, I'm just going to bring my dog to my parents' place. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I said I'm going to leave and take the dog with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what, who would help you? Yeah. <laughs> <Who>? Dog lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Custody lawyer? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I this is Yeah, disgusting. we're sweating. Uh, so th we're wrapping up. Um, is there anything you guys want to plug? I know you're not in the entertainment no, industry, but anything. you could plug like anything. Do you your have butt. a charity you want to um, plug? 
you want to <laughs> get vaccinated for the flu this fall? I would recommend your COVID and flu vaccine this year, but that's just me. No, I love it. Yeah. I never get my flu vaccine and I should because I get pretty sick. Yeah, and it's for you, like, sure, herd immunity, whatever, but it's for you, too. Who wants yeah. to feel like absolute That's a shit? good band. Herd immunity? <laughs> My mom's been asking if you're getting your I know. flu shot. And you should do, like, last year and lie and say that. <laughs> <laughs> she might listen. <laughs> she won't make it this far. <laughs> Thank you guys both for coming. Like Thank him. you for being Thanks here. For Are you excited? Is, I, I'm happy I'm that you jazzed. made it. This is like this was a great episode. I've never fall asleep had a couple. In yeah. four weeks. <laughs> well, I mean, then that. you that's kind of like, I guess, masturbating to your own nudes. <laughs> and on that note, we'll catch you guys <laughs> next week. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.